All right, guys, fire away. This be a uh... nice outfit. I like that. <laughs> Look, uh, you're, the, you're the first person to say it. Yeah. Because everybody else That's thinks nice. it's a bad outfit. So I appreciate <laughs> you. <Okay>. Thank you. <laughs> you got to step back anyway. I noticed it. I just didn't say it. Um, will this be the stiffest test for your run defense so far this season? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they run the ball exceptionally well. Um, you know, look, the last couple of weeks against a couple of pretty good run defenses, they've been able to uh, run the ball effectively. Um, I think they stick with it, like I talked about earlier in the week. You know, I mean, I, I think they're really good up front. I think they block it well. I think the runners are, you know, uh, patient and yet explosive. I think they're violent runners. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's going to be it's going to be the stiffest test we faced. Is Quentin Nelson back to playing as as good as he ever has? Or? Well, look, I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with the player, um, and yet when I see him on tape, I'm I'm impressed with what I see. So. I don't know where he was at before, but he looks pretty good to me. Of course, you played against Gardner Mitchell before, but how is this offense going to be a bit of a different challenge compared to what you faced with Phoenix with Philly? Yeah, I, I mean, um, <clears throat> I think it's a similar scheme. Um, you know, there's some different ball players, but I think it's pretty much a similar scheme. So I think it's it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a tough challenge for us. So I think they're they're operating at a high level. Um, you know, offensively, they're one of the better offenses in our league. I think they're a top 10 offense. Um, you know, they're doing a good job of scoring points. They run the ball effectively. They pass it efficiently. So, um, yeah, it'll be tough. Is there anything you can take from the matchup last year with Gardner to use towards playing against him this year? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think a ton. Um, you know, each and every game is, a is a is you know, one in, in and of itself. So, I don't really take too much of it. I mean, obviously, we, we go back and we look at that game, and, but I think that's more about you know how they tried to attack us more than you know particularly against Gardner Minshew. Dennis, how do you feel like the team has kind of responded throughout the week? Yeah, look, I mean, I, I think I think we've had a good week of practice, um, and I don't think that's been a challenge. You know, um, we just got to go out and perform on Sunday. Dennis, I've heard a, a couple of people say they think they're close offensively. They can see the plays there to be made. They just got to make them. You kind of have a similar sense of where the team's at? Yeah, I think there's some of that. And and, uh, and I think it's time to do it. Yeah. Dennis, how do you feel about your pass rush right now? I know there's been some guys getting rid of the ball quickly, but do you feel like it could be better? You know, um, could it be better? Yeah, I think there's some things that we could do, be do better. Um, and yet, pass rush and pass coverage you know, have to work together. So um, the ultimate deal is, you know, be able to, to, you know, limit the effectiveness of the passing game, right? So you can do it in different ways, coverage, rush, whatever the case may be. So I'm not, I don't, I don't have any concerns about our pass rush. I think we, we've, you know, we certainly want to be better there. Um, but yet I think we've, we've played, you know, pretty good pass defense. So there's some times where, where guys are trying to get the ball out quick. Um, and when they do, um, you know, we have to have tight coverage. Um, it's probably more of a factor of when, when the quarterback holds the ball, you know, that's when we've got to be able to get there and affect the quarterback that way. And what is your uh, view on the way Paulson and Devo's playing? It seems like receivers aren't having a lot of success, but that penalty keeps coming. Yeah, and, and look, I mean, um, that's something that we, we continue to work on, uh, you know, each and every week. But I do feel like he's playing at a high level. Um, there's some things fundamentally that I think we can we can improve on and get better at. Um, but overall, I think he's I think he's playing well. The scoring's kind of down around the league, in the league wide. I mean, is there anything you're seeing, maybe trend wise, that keep keeping? No, I don't really have an answer for that. I mean, um, you know, it's interesting to see because you know. I think it was last week. I think there was, you know, less than half the teams in our league scored more than 20 points last last week. So uh, that's a little that's a little unique. I think that's a little different, and I don't really know what the cause would be for that. Are teams playing defensively? I mean, I'm talking about just this year, but in general, like the last year or so, last two three years, are you seeing more too deep kind of forcing? Is that a trend at all or not? Is that? Yeah, I I, I don't. 
I don't think that's like this league-wide trend. I mean, right. I think there's certain teams that, you know, have bought into that philosophy a little bit more, and and there's certain teams that, that you know, are still a lot more down safety. I think that's just kind of, you know, whatever the, you know, flavor for the coordinator is and what 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 they like to do. So, um, yeah, I don't I don't I don't see that as this big big trend. Yeah, did you put even more emphasis on turnovers this week when you play a team like that that has a tendency to? I think we put, you know, an emphasis on you know the turnover takeaway margin every single week. So I don't think it's any different this week. Um, I do think that's a bigger factor on the road than than at home. Um, uh, I think I think the turnover takeaway ratio is a, a huge factor when you're playing on the road. We didn't see Marcus May out in practice. What's maybe going on with him? Uh, he's got an illness. Okay. That's what so some something, something we've had we've had a few guys have a little bit of an illness. So, um, but uh, you know we'll see. I, I imagine he'll be feeling better tomorrow. I don't know if you've been asked about it much, but what about the Colts' defense and how they can challenge your offense? Well, I think it starts up front. You know, much like we talked about with their offense, but I think it starts up front. They do a really good job of getting after the passer. Um, they're active. You know, in terms of how they play defense, they've done a pretty good job of you know taking the ball away. Got some 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 tough uh, you know pressure packages that they that they run, particularly when you get to third down. So um, I think it's a I think it's a tough, aggressive. You know, Gus has always done a really good job with the defense. So um, you know, I think again, like I said, it, it's going to start up front. Um, we got to do a good job of blocking them. What are some kind of some of the hallmarks of this offense that just like brought over from, from Philly? Like, what, what are some of the things they really want to want to do against you? Yeah, I, I think um, obviously you're seeing a lot more of the the gun run RPO type of game. Um, so, with each run, there's generally some sort of outlet for the quarterback to you know get rid of the ball in the passing game if he doesn't like the run look. So. Uh, a lot, lot of similarities as, as to what they were doing in Philly. All right, guys, thanks.